Hello and welcome back to week number nine of Tuesday Tips. This week we're going to be looking at making shapes with our music and adding some musical expression. We spent a lot of time over the last few weeks looking at the fundamental things that make us a good musician. But adding expression to our music is the cream on the cake. Music is just really a bunch of black dots on a piece of paper. And if we don't add expression to it, then the people who are listening to it can't understand what we're trying to say. When we use a spoken word, we have punctuation, we have inf voice inflection, tone of voice, and the ways of saying things that make it easier for people to understand what we're trying to ask. For example, I could ask you the same question in three different ways. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? The same question, but because of the inflection on the words, they have, are demanding a different answer. And the same with music, we just need to make it very clear what we're trying to get across to the listener. The other thing that's really important is the timing and the phrasing of music. Using the spoken word again, if I just ramble on and talk without any punctuation at all and you don't understand what I'm saying, you're thinking, for goodness sake, Kerry, will you just stop because you're going to run out of breath in a minute. It stops making any sense. It stops being nice to listen to. So it's quite important that we do that with our music as well. Okay, thinking about how we add musical expression to our music, what does that actually include? How does it sound different? I'm going to play the first eight bars of a hymn tune called Aberystwyth. I'm going to play it really dull and boring the first time, and then I'm going to try and add some musical expression and see if you can hear the difference and think about the sort of things I'm doing to add the musical expression. some expression. Hopefully you should hear some differences now. like dynamics I'm making it get louder and quieter I'm pushing the tempo forward in a few places the stringendo and allegando so robbing some of the time put a nice big phrase mark at the end of the first four bars just to add a little bit of poise to the music and some vibrato on some of the longer notes so those are the easy things that we can add to our music it's much simpler if you can already play the music and you don't have to fumble around learning the notes um, expression is something we can add as we get a little bit more experience. Well, I'm going to enjoy this bit because I'm going to play you a proper piece of music now, not just a hymn tune. I've been holding back the last few weeks, not playing you any music, just using simple examples. But I do need to show you what expression is and can only do this on a proper piece of music. The Girl with the Flaxen Hair is a beautiful piece of music by Debussy. And Debussy is a French Impressionist composer I used to write music that was very sort of ethereal and floaty. It didn't have a proper bar line or pulse to it. Um, it not regimented at all. Just gorgeous to listen to. Um, and so I'm going to play his piece of music twice, as straight as I can the first time, which is really going to hurt because I find it very difficult to play it straight. And then I'll put the expression on it as I feel it should be portrayed by this beautiful Impressionist composer.
was really dull and boring and very difficult to do. <laughs> so now hopefully this is a better version and the things I'm going to be adding would be changes in dynamics, some tenuto on some of the notes, holding back, leaning on some notes, a little bit of phrasing at the end, shaping at the end of the phrases, better poise in the breath marks, pushing the music forward, allegando, and, and allegando is pushing, pulling it back. So a little bit of robbing of the timing and a bit of vibrato on some of the longer notes. quite difficult to do that but it's really fun to do. It's never too soon in your learning music career to actually start learning musical expression and shape and so some of this may have seemed a little bit advanced today I think you'd agree that you could do it at any level. I'd like you to try playing a piece of music that you know well just go through something that you, all, you can already play and then See if you can add some of these different things. So maybe go over the top with the dynamics. Experiment a little bit more with the end of the phrases. Take really big breaths and add some poise to the music. You can do this as a soloist because it's just you and you're the performer. It is tricky if you're doing it in a band because obviously then everybody in the band needs to do it in the same way. And this can only be achieved by an amazing conductor bringing it all together. As a soloist though, the world is your oyster, so please go away, make some beautiful music, make some shapes, and have some fun. <laughs>